Hi, I'm Anthony, and today I'm fixing this. While Velcro is very um, versatile, and it worked for up until now, I guess, it's just kind of a pain to put it on and off. And so I'm going to try to make uh, some clip-in or some push-in clips out of some PVC pipe. And I'll just fasten them here somewhere somehow. And that way, and the reason I need it on there is so that I can roll it up so it doesn't flop around. Because I, right now I just have it running out of here and then that drops down to my air compressor. Let's do it. So I've just got some half inch PVC and I'm going to cut a notch out of here and play around with it and test it just to see what will snap in. My hose is just a little bit smaller than this so let's see what we need to do to make it work. Just kind of eyeballing it for right now. I've just cut out that little bit right there. I think I need to take a little bit more out, but let me go test fit. Right, so I just figured out that uh, that's very sharp. So I'll have to run a file or something over that. Anyway, this is the first fit. And that will actually work, I believe. I may change this angle right here. Instead of straight up and down as you can see, maybe come out and go back a little bit. So I got something to round over so I don't tear my hose up. Just gonna cut this out of the way here. Alright, a little bit different, so let's go try that. Alright, it's gonna be just so it pops in there. It's gonna be a loose fit, which is fun. I just want it to clip in there and so I can easily push it in, pull it out. I could use a little bit smaller pipe, but CPVC is actually just under a half inch. This is right at right at a half inch. CPVC is just under a half inch, so that may be a little bit tight. But I may try it just for giggles. Cause that's a little bit loose there. This piece here is a little bit shorter, so it's not quite as convenient, but it's what I have. So let's see here. lot harder to do when the piece is this short so don't do it that way get a full piece I got it a little bit twisted as you can see um, it's hard to hold straight with my push stick but I'm just cutting off little tiny pieces and chunks so let's go see how this fits okay that actually fits a lot better and I'll be able to just squeeze it, pinch that in there, and it'll hold it in there nice and steady. All right, that's almost the perfect size for that for that hose. So I don't I could trim maybe. And there's a thin line between love and hate here, so I could trim just a little bit more off, <clears throat> and maybe a little bit more will come off when I. I'm going to put this in the vise and just run a file along this edge just to soften that edge a little bit or hit it with the sander. So let's go do that now. Alright, so I chose to bypass the vise 
that didn't want to hold in there right. Plus I have the sander right here, so I'm gonna do it right here on the back of my trailer. Alright, at least it's not cutting. <clears throat> Let me uh, see if I need more cleanup at all and then get my chop saw out and cut them for lunch. So I'm kind of thinking through my fastening system here as I'm going here. So I have these Chicago screws. Now I just have to figure out what my depth is. This is just a inset bolt. The screw almost acts like a rivet, but it's just screwed on. So, I'm trying to think of something that would be smooth on both sides so it doesn't tear up my hose on either side of the reel. So, let me measure this out and see if these will work. So, I've got my digital calipers here, and I'm just gonna, I'm using this as a spacer because this guy has a lip on it up here. So, I'm just gonna go like this. I'm going to zero that out, and then I'll go like this like that and that's measuring 4.92 millimeters this distance from here to here is just under 5 millimeters but I also do not have this figured in so that was 4.92 millimeters need to zero this back again That's at right at two. And so if I close these together, let me see what I have here. All right, my minimum, so that's four point whatever it was, almost five, and almost two is seven, just under seven. And I'm right at six. So that looks like it's going to do it. So it looks like it'll be almost perfect. So I know I said I was going to use my chop saw, but one, I don't feel like getting it out. And two, they're really small pieces. I'm going to use my plumbing pipe cutter here. Let's see about the length that I need here. Lock that in there like that. Let's see if this will cut it without breaking it. How about that? Alright, that's going to fit right in there like that. Now I just need to drill a hole and figure out where I want to place them. Nothing behind it. <clears throat> One test fit.
This may be a little bit difficult. I can't get my finger in there to hold the screw. Let's see if it'll stick on my. Get a little bit of a magnet on here. But it's flathead, so it doesn't work the greatest. Okay, that magnet will hold it. Maybe. Perfect. Beautiful. Exactly what I was looking for. Alright, put the rest of these on here. I don't want these screws backing out, so that was a test fit and I almost forgot. I'm gonna do. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna put some blue thread locker on there. All right, I got some blue thread locker, and this is actually gel. The only reason I bought this is because, well, it's the only thing they had, and I needed some for another project. I'm going to go ahead and put all of them on, since I have them. I thought I made extras, but apparently I did not. Alright, so that's what the screw looks like on this side. Let's see if we can see what it does on the other side. So that's what the back side of the screw looks like. There's very low profile. I'm happy with that. And it'll be a nice smooth surface for that hose to ride on, won't catch on, won't tear. Alright, I think I can make that work right there. These are super easy. Nice. Pop in and out. Just tight enough to hold it. Not too tight to cut anything. You could also use these 
clips um, to put along a wall. You know, if you didn't want to run hard piping and you just wanted to use a hose, it would work very well for that. This inside diameter of half inch CPVC is almost exactly the same as my outside diameter of my Flexilla quarter inch inside diameter hose. So that's another way you could use this instead of on this hose reel. Check the video below for any links or descriptions of any of the objects that I used in today's project. So that looks like it's going to wrap up this project. If anything changes in the future, I'll definitely let you know if it does not work out. As always, if you like these videos, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And remember to positively impact those around you and make today the best. Thanks for watching.